Hey everyone, it's Miss Sigma here. Welcome back to the channel. We have some pretty cool news to go over today. A brand new article was posted, and this event looks really cool. I'm super excited for it. So let's get right into the news. Professor Willow needs everyone's help in a new event, and Team Go Rocket activity has also been detected. So the little promo image has Ditto and Meltan, which is pretty cool. Trainers, it's time to go. It's all hands on deck during the Let's Go event. Professor Willow's research is running wild, literally. Pansage, Pansir, and Pampor are appearing in the wild all over the world, and lucky trainers using the mystery box may encounter shiny Meltan. And some trainers have noticed a shift in the wild Pokemon that Ditto is transforming into. Better keep an eye out. We've also received reports that Team Go Rocket might be planning to revamp their efforts and change more species of Pokemon into shadow Pokemon in their schemes. Stay alert, trainers. So, part one is going to be the Let's Go event. It will be taking place on Tuesday, March 21st at 10 a.m. local time which is next week, and it goes until Wednesday, March 29th at 8 p.m. local time. So an eight-day event, it's pretty nice. Meltan will be available in the Mystery Box like usual. However, there's a twist. The Shiny will be available. It is a really rare one. It comes back maybe like once or twice a year. So make sure you connect to Pokemon Home or Let's Go. Make sure to get that box going. It will be available to use more frequently as well. I'm not sure if it's every day or like every other day, but it'll be pretty cool. You can get those Shinies, so it's a really rare one. You can get the extra, extra small, and extra, extra large Meltan as well, which is cool. You know, just something to look forward to. If you get it, that's nice. Imagine you get a shiny one, that'd be really cool. Pansage, Pansir, and Pampor are appearing globally. So normally these are regional, so Pansage is like Asia, Pansir is, I believe, Europe, and Pampor is Americas. So that'd be cool to get if you missed those during GoFest. Now is a chance to get those Bogodex slots filled up. They will be shiny as well, so make sure you get those. A Ditto change-up. So Ditto appears to be transforming into different Pokemon in the wild. If you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny Ditto. Ditto, oh, sorry. Ditto transformations. Ditto appears to be transforming into different Pokemon in the wild. So these Pokemon can now be Ditto. Diglett, Grimer, Snubble, Corphish, Starly, Roggenrola, Timple, and Litleo. If you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny one or a shiny Ditto. So that's cool. Make sure you keep your eyes out for those spawns and make sure you're checking them. They will be available more during the event. So, more Dittos will be available. If you need those for the Let's Go quest that was a couple years ago, if you still need some Ditto, or for the April Fool's Day, which I believe was last year. Now you can finally get that research all done. The event bonuses, they're pretty pretty basic, but they're nice. Reduced waiting time for the Mystery Box. Double candy for transferring Pokemon. Increased chance of finding extra, extra small and extra, extra large Meltan. And an increased chance of finding Ditto disguised as other Pokemon. The Wild Encounters for this event, they're pretty good. They're not amazing, but the regionals are like the best part. So we have Diglett, Grimer, Snubble, Corphish, Starly, Pansage, Pansir, Pampor, Raganrola, Timple, Litleo, and if you're lucky, you'll see Trubbish, Galar, Stunfisk, and Gumi. The so the one three stars I will put on screen right now, there was a little infographic that I saw on Leak Duck on Twitter. The only thing that changed is the five star raids and the mega raids. So right now we have Ho-Oh, Incarnate form Thunderous will be taking over on March 21st, which is when the event starts, and then it goes until March 28th. And after that, Lugia takes over from March 28th to April 10th. So, no special moves. Can be shiny. So, if you need those, I need Thunderous. I'm good on Lugia, though. So, be focusing all in on Thunderous. The Mega Raids are also going to change. So, Mega Venusaur will be available from March 21st to the 28th, and the Mega Alkazam will be available from March 28th to April 10th. Field research task encounters. You'll be seeing Pansage, Pansir, and Pampor from the tasks. Again, they can be shiny, so be sure to keep your eyes out for those ones. The collection challenge will be available. Complete the collection challenge to receive an encounter with Meltan and 5,000 XP. Seasonal special research and everyday hero. So throughout Season 10 of Rising Heroes, free special research will be available for trainers. Spend some time helping out Professor Willow and see what surprises you discover. The research will be available to claim until the end of Season 10, which is on June 1st at 10 a.m. local time. So just log in before then and you'll get the research. The ticketed one is also available in the shop still. I believe it's $5 US, so it gives you the access to Double Iron Bash, which is a brand new move for Melmetal. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's decent, like better for raids and probably PvP because it charges up really quick. So if you have $5 to spare, I'd go for it. Why not? The big news, Team Go Rocket. Everyone loves this Team Go Rocket event, so I do too. So it'll be Saturday, March 25th, until Wednesday, March 29th. Save Shadow Regiice. So, 
Reggie Ice has been turned into a shadow Pokemon. You will have to rescue it from Giovanni. You can claim the special research to get the special rocket radar until June 1st. So as the event ends, or no, sorry, the season ends, you can claim the research. Event bonuses, Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. You can use a charged TM to help a shadow Pokemon forget the charged attack frustration. This is the main like bonus for all the events. Everyone catch all the shadows and they're useless without like their normal moves. So if you have a bunch of good shadows, shadow shinies, shadow legendaries mainly, get those charge DMs ready. You don't tag them in the game so you're ready to go. TM away frustration, then you can change the move whenever you want after. So just make sure you do that. Don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Brand new shadows are going to be available. So we have Shadow Alolan Grimer, Shadow Fanfy, Shadow Trico, Shadow Torchic, and Shadow Drifloon. They will be available. The eggs for the 12 case will be Larvitar, Absol, Scorpy, Sandile, Scraggy, Ponyard, Volby, Dino, Pancham, Scrulp, and Silandits. And finally, the Field Research task will be available to give mysterious components. And that's it for this like double event. Looks really fun. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. Personally, that shiny Meltan is awesome. And the boosted chance of shiny Dido. So, thank you guys again for checking out the channel. And I will see you guys back here again on Friday with the breakdown for Slowpoke Community Day.